Assalamu alaikum. I Dr. Tamkeen Salim welcome you for the week 13th lecture. Dear students, today we will be discussing regarding a very sensitive topic that is reproductive health problems and infertility. Reproductive health. A women's reproductive system is a delicate and complex system in the body. It is important to take steps to protect it from infections and injury and prevent a number of problems, including some long-term health problems as well as some uh, short-term health problems. Take care of uh, oneself and making oneself um, choose for a healthy lifestyle can protect one uh, self from development of any uh, re reproductive health problems. When we refer to reproductive health, what does it mean? It is uh, a state of physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity in all matters relating to reproductive system and to its functions and processes and across all stages of life. So it's not something that is specifically related to one, a, one specific age or specific uh, span of time or specific stage of life. The affected groups include women, young people, people with disability, uh, LGBTI group, sex workers, people from refugee and culturally diverse groups, older people and prisoners. Because all these people or the groups are specifically at risk for development of reproductive health problems. Most frequently we find that it's the women group that is most vulnerable group. Particularly because they are not physically as strong as men. And there are also some biological phenomena due to which their vulnerability to diseases is increased. For example, they have issues or they have stages or periods of uh, menstruation, pregnancy, miscarriages, and lactation. Hindrances to women empowerment include social cultural beliefs as well as traditions due to which they may be facing more and more uh, health related problems, specifically reproductive health problems. Again, there is no specific division of labor. For example, uh, despite the fact that women are ill, they may be pregnant or they may be lactating or they may be having miscarriages, they are required to complete all their tasks at home. And even if they are working uh, in the fields, for example, in the families of farmers, they are expected to work in the field as well as at home. And then there are also some kind of political factors involved in which they do not let the women get empowerment and one of the source is not to let them have uh, access to the medical health or uh, reproductive health system. Common reproductive health concern for women are numerous, which are um, somehow um, connected with infertility of the females as well. There are numerous problems. We'll be just discussing or taking an overview of a few of them. Number one is endometriosis. Uh, it can be associated with severe pain and fertility problems. About 30% to 40% of women with endometriosis have trouble uh, conceiving for a child. Over time, endometrial implants may grow or cysts may result because endometriosis may cause the fertility problems. It is a condition where tissues similar to lining of the womb start to grow in some other places such as ovaries and fallopian tubes. It can affect women of any age. It's a long-term condition that can have significant impact on your life. but the good news is that there are treatments available that can help. Next is uterine fibroids, which are non-cancerous growth of uterus that often appear during childbearing years. It is also known as myomas or lyomyomas. 
These fibroids are associated with an increased risk of uterine cancer and almost never develop into cancer. However, uterine cancer is another health concern, reproductive health concern for women, which can be covered in gynecologic cancer. When we talk about gynecologic cancer, there are numerous types of gynecologic cancer. Five common types are cervical cancer, ovarian cancer, vaginal cancer, vulval cancer, and womb cancer, which is also known as endometrial or uterine cancer. There is also possibility that gynecological cancer may also be connected with menopause. It is usually occurring before the menopause. Menopause does not cause cancer, but the risk of developing cancer can be increased due to its presence. STDs, that is sexually transmitted diseases, are very much common, but are not exclusively spread by sexual intercourse. Most common ones are HIV, AIDS, genital herpes, genital wars, and there are many others. Another reproductive problem that is faced by females is polycystic ovary syndrome, PCUs, that eventually leads to infertility. It's a hormonal disorder which is common among women of reproductive age. Women with PCOS may have infrequent or prolonged menstrual periods or excessive male hormone, that is the androgen levels. The ovaries may develop numerous small collections of fluid follicles and fail to regularly release eggs leading towards infertility in women. Female genital mutilation FGM is internationally recognized as a violation of human rights of girls and women, reflecting deep-rooted inequality between the genders. It is almost always carried out on minors and is also a violation of the rights of children. There are different types of female genital mutilation. Type 1 is known as uh, clito Redectomy, that is partial or uh, total removal of clitoris. It's a part of uh, vagina. Excision, that is type 2, that is partial or total removal of clitoris. Infibulation, that is narrowing of the vaginal opening through the creation of a covering seal. And there are many other humble procedures to female genital for non-medical purposes. For example, picking, piercing, incising, scrapping, or cauterizing the genital area. Reproductive health problems are more common among the young people because it's a time of the development of sexual identity and interpersonal relationship. It's an onset of sexual attraction and related behaviors and this is an age when the individuals want to um, indulge in a number of risk-taking behaviors including homelessness, substance use and mental disorders which may lead to reproductive health problems like STIs, HIV, AIDS, cervical cancer, uh, breast cancer, unsafe abortion, teenage pregnancy, etc. Then the people with a disability may often have um, health problems specifically related to repro reproductive health. 10% of the population live with a disability and they have same sexual and reproductive health needs as other. Sexual and reproductive needs of persons with disability are often overlooked or neglected. People with disability are also likely to be victims of physical as well as sexual abuse and rape because of the reason it is uh, they are considered to be um, easy to be accessed as well as manipulated by the others. LGBTI that is lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and intersex people. They often tend to have sexual and reproductive ill health problems uh, because of discrimination 
uh, as well as their uh, sexual health and well-being uh, is uh, affected which contributes to the underutilization of health services there are common problems experienced by them which are STIs that is sexually transmitted infections HIV and AIDS underutilization of health services is one of the main uh, issue that is experienced by people belonging to LGBTI group sex workers sexual and reproductive health needs of these workers have been neglected both in research as well as public health interventions um, frequent unsafe sex with the multiple partners puts the female sex workers at uh, high risk of development of uh, hiv and aids and other stis vulnerable young women most of uh, who are mostly under the age of 30 they are extremely vulnerable to unintended pre pregnancy people from refugee culturally and linguistically diverse backgrounds there is significant variation in the sexual and reproductive health outcomes among people from culturally and linguistic diverse background many experience poor sexual and reproductive health outcomes due to the underutilization of sexual health services there is lack of knowledge and social stigma associated with discussion of sexuality in most of the cultures that is why even if they are having problem they do not discuss about it and eventually it aggravates their problem research has suggested that hiv related stigma and discrimination is common among the cal communities similarly the women who are refugee or immigrant they tend to have a greater risk for development of maternal and um, child health problems and because they do not have enough information regarding the modern methodologies of the usage of uh, contraceptives uh, and they are also having a greater vulnerability for development of uh, stis and they have a lack of access to primary health care services due to which uh, they tend to have more and more uh, reproductive health problems young women from re refugee backgrounds tend to have uh, more um, prevalence of teenage pregnancy in comparison to other young women the most common and most a uh, vital problem experienced by women regarding reproductive health problem is infertility that is uh, an inability to conceive after one year of unprotective intercourse if the individual is uh, that is the lady is under the 35 years of age or inability to conceive after six months of unprotective intercourse if above the age of 35 years However, we do find facts that actually challenge the previous definition that has been uh, shared. That is, only 16 to 21 percent of the couples meeting one year definition remain infertile throughout their lives, and 30 percent of couples take more than one year to conceive. So we cannot say that those who are not conceiving they are infertile, as this 30 percent of the couple. Uh, who are unable to conceive um, for more than one year is indicating that there are some other um, issues and problems in reproductive health of the females the question of interest is that if it is only the females um, who have infertility problem or is infertility uh, only a female's problem so the answer is no Infertility is not always a woman's problem. Both men and women can contribute to infertility. There are many couples who struggle with infertility and they tend to seek help to become pregnant. But it is often thought of as only a woman's condition and that specifically is true uh, in the backgrounds uh, or the countries where education or economic levels are low. Similarly, where the traditional concepts are that not to question the ma masculinity of a man. So entire um, responsibility is laid on the shoulders of the female that, he, that she is actually infertile. 
However, in about 35% of the couples with infertility, a male factor is identified along with a female factor. In about 8% of the couples with infertility, a male factor is the only identifiable cause. Almost 9% of men aged 25 to 44 years report that they or their partner saw a doctor for advice, testing or treatment for infertility during their lifetime. Which indicates that very, very few men actually go for screening for infertility.